everybody how is everybody doing today i hope well as usual you know i love y'all i don't want nobody going through nothing um but today i am here because i'm having wendy's uh jalapeno and bacon chicken sandwich yeah jalapeno and bacon now, i don't buy spicy stuff so i'm going you know i'm going way out for this one you know, because I'm trying to get my taste buds to open up to different things. Spicier foods just a little, you know. So, I got that. Let me get it out of there. And I got a fry as well. Hold on. Let me get this out of here so I can do my thumbnail. Let us see. Okay, look like I was taking a big one. Put those down here and here because. Alrighty. How is everybody doing this afternoon? I don't know if it'll be evening when you all see this, but it's afternoon right now. Having my lunch. A little ketchup. I just got a regular old Coke or Pepsi, whichever one they um, have. And I put that boy in the freezer so it can get a little slushy too. So we got the ice plus slush. Yes. Let's see about this. Put that there. Get my prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive in your son. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Let's see here, y'all. Here's what it. You got that? Mm-hmm. Just so, show you the surrounding area first. <laughs> Now we're going to go in. Let's knock on the door and go in. See what... Ooh. That looks like that is nice. Look at them jalapenos. Oh, my gosh. Jalapenos. Then you see the little... The bacon is there, you guys. It's there. Right there. See your bacon. Onion. And those jalapenos. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Oh, well. Here we go. And they used to procrastinate and just get it out the way and let it be done. That's it. Let's go. <sighs> mm. The heat is coming. I feel it. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all can see. <clears throat> it's like <clears throat> the meat. So you can see them spices in there, can you? Oh, yeah. And that jalapeno with that bacon right there. Mm, mm, mm. I have never eaten. Any kind of sandwich with jalapenos on it like that, I don't think. Because I don't really mess with it. But it's right here. You know. Today, y'all. I had a story I wanted to tell y'all real quick. Of something. One of the things that happened in my life. And how, you know, bad things happen in your life and you have to go and just have the best life you can have. But you just wonder, how did this happen? What, this is one of those things where you say, how did this happen? When I was little, me and my mom, we got robbed. No, we wasn't out shopping at the grocery store at a friend's house, family house. We got robbed while we were asleep. 
We were literally in the house, sleep, and getting robbed at the same time. Now, you tell me that wasn't divine intervention. So, this was quite some time ago. This was like in the 80s. I was a child. So, <clears throat> back in them days, you know, every, <clears throat> that spice, that jalapeno, y'all. Oh, my God. <clears throat> it's kicking in. Oh, but this sandwich is getting ate. So, anyway, back in them days, y'all, we had the bees that everybody put in their house and they, hang, they hung them in their doorways. And, you know, you went through them hard, the tangling and tangling of the different bees. To this day, I don't know what that was all about, but we had them. So, when you first walked in our house, you went straight to the living room. Over to the side was a little <coughs> den area. Well, we used to iron the clothes and whatnot. Then straight ahead was the dining room, kitchen, bedrooms over to the side. Just trying to give you a little bit of how the house looked, you know, with those beads. Now, this particular night, me and my mom, we slept. <clears throat> oh, I'm scared to bite. Oh, my gosh, I'm scared to bite. Look at that hollow pin. It's just sitting there waiting on me. So this particular night, y'all, me and my mom, we went to bed, and when we woke up, we got up, went to the bathroom. I don't know whether it was me or her. That's when we know. We knew then we had got robbed. Because A, when we woke up to go through the living room, the TV was gone. Yeah, the TV was gone. That was in the living room before you went through those bees that I told you we had. So then, in the bathroom, they even took the time to have a restroom break. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You heard me. Yeah. They had a restroom break and felt free to leave it all over our toilet. Okay. They had went through my mom's room. <clears throat> Nothing in my room was messed with. So. They went looking through her room, and I guess they figured that's where the money and everything is. I didn't have anything in my room that was worth anything, you know. So, I started going through my closet. You know, I went in my closet. Now, where we live, when you walk in the closet, you can literally walk to the back. It was a real long closet. So, when I opened my door, my clothes was pushed open, Okay. Now, what does that mean? If my clothes was pushed open, I was asleep. That means that person was in my closet the entire time. The entire time. They were in my closet. Don't know when they got in the house. I guess it was when we was done. I guess we came in the house when... <clears throat> and... Surprised them or whatever, and they went and that was in the closet. We just don't know when they got in that house. But when I say that closet was long, it was about at least 10 feet long, at least or more, probably more than that. Because five feet, I'm five, five, so it was probably like 10, 11, 11, 12 feet long to where you could use it for storage. It was slender, but it was long. All the rolls of clothes were pushed open. And we had two rows where you can hang clothes. Both those rows was pushed open. Okay? And it was if somebody was back there. I can't describe how the look was, but they were there. Now, how they got in, we don't know. How they <clears throat> was managed to get the TV 
and all of that without making any noise. We did not wake up. We did not wake up. Now, me and my mom was like, did they spray us with something or something? Because we did not wake up. That was the scariest. That's like the first scariest day of my life. But that's my whole point is divine intervention exists. It exists. Got me a little ketchup on here. It exists. Because either they sprayed us with something or we was in a deep, 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 deep sleep. And we don't know how. Because like I said, we had the bees. <coughs> Ooh, the jalapeno. We had the bees. That didn't wake us up. None of that. And they had to go out our back door because the front door still had the chain on it. They had a chain. The chain was still on it. So they had to go through those bees with that TV and we did not wake up. All I know is after that, my mama sat in the dining room every night for probably about a week on the floor when she had her shotgun. My mama was no joke. And she sat right there on that wall looking at the door. I'm like, oh my God, please don't let them come back. Divine intervention. <clears throat> For real. This is really spicy. Did y'all see all that? Let me go a little bit closer as I can. Let me put all that heat up in there. Mmm. I can't believe I'm eating it. <laughs> you don't know what I found out. And I'm probably late to the game. I found out that you can Uber food to people in another state. Did anybody else know that? I did not have a clue. I did not know that you can Uber somebody some food from your state to their state. Totally freaked me out. <clears throat> if anybody else knew that, please let me know. Because <laughs> I'm just late to the game. I said, what the heck? You can just Uber it. Yep. Put the address in the box. And they go to wherever restaurant. I guess it's in that state. Mm, mm, mm. And I found out because my son... Carmen was like, could you Uber me some? I said, what? Uber you? Uber eats you something? Mm. He was like, yeah. I said, okay, let me try it. We done it, and it went through. I was like, your food got delivered. <laughs> he was like, yep, they coming to the door. You know, because I still can see on my phone, of course, that where they was, just like here, you know, it show you where they're at. They're on their way and all of that. I was like, wow, technology today. Mm, mm, mm. Tell me what they can't do if they want to. I just don't want that other piece of jalapeno. Like, are you kidding me? Look at, oh, no. Mm-mm. 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 Mm-hmm. 
Oop, don't come over here on video, okay? Mm. Mm-hmm. What the hell? My son, y'all. Gracing me with his presence. You just got up? Hmm? No. Mm -mm. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do the spicy stuff no more. Well, maybe not with the actual jalapenos on there. Oh, my God. And I done ate a few. Well, y'all ready for the weekend? I have absolutely no plans this weekend. I got a whole lot of videos to watch. I got to give back to my community, to my people that's helping me out. So I'll be watching and stepping on up into y'all's YouTube houses over the weekend. You support me, I'm supporting you. Got to. Mm. It seemed to me that the, when you eat stuff hot, it take away from you being able to taste all the other flavors and stuff that's incorporated in whatever you're eating because that heat just seemed to take over. I am about done. I appreciate y'all chilling, relaxing with me. I guess y'all might have been eating something too. I don't know. I am done. Mm-mm. I'm stuffed and done, y'all. Can't do it no more. Can't take no more here. One more bite and that's that. Thank you all for watching. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell for our future videos. Give this video a thumbs up. And please comment and share. I love communicating with y'all, hearing what you have to say, getting to know each other so I can know who my family is. So thank you so much for all your love and support. You all have a blessed day.